Hi, I'm Dr. Donald DeFabio, and it's a great day to continue our discussion on plantar fasciitis. Today we're going to talk about new and different things that I've added to my practice to help accelerate the recovery for our plantar fasciitis patients because it's painful, it hurts, and it really impacts their life. Today we're going to talk about radial shockwave therapy as an adjunctive therapy to stimulate healing of the plantar fascia. So we know that oftentimes the calves are tight, so we still need to release the calves, and oftentimes there's lots of inflammation right on the bottom of the plantar fascia, sometimes along the sides of the heel, sometimes even the ball of the foot. Um, so we want to get the local inflammation down and through there, and we still want to lengthen that. So radial shockwave therapy is like dropping pebbles in a, in a, in a pool, and it creates radial waves. Uh, a wave form of, of pressure. Uh, muscles are 73% water. So by creating that wave form, it helps drive nutrients into the area. And as you get closer to areas where the tissues are not healthy, uh, where there's a breakdown in the tissue, there's a scarring, where there's a, what we call, if it's a tendon, a tendinosis, which is like a, a fraying from the inside, in the plantar fascia that's gotten thickened and the fibers no longer are in the proper direction and they're kind of mismatched, you want to go right over that if you can. So I'm going to use my Smart Wave uh, therapy unit and I'm going to put on a 15 millimeter head, which is a, just a 15 millimeter head. Uh, the settings are going to be today for pain control. So that means I'm going to put him on Oh, uh, pretty high tapping, and you'll hear the noise in a second. We're gonna go up to 20 hertz, uh, so you'll go very fast because we wanna address pain. We don't wanna go deep. We wanna go more superficial, okay? So that's why it's faster. And then we're also gonna do, uh, the depth of the uh, penetration is also related to the hertz. For the plantar fascia, we wanna get in there pretty good because it's thick, but it is also superficial. Um, so it's not like the calves. So we'll probably do 60 to 70 joules. So we set the joules at about 60. Um, where's my lotion? We need a little lotion because radial waves do not pass through uh, air. So that's why we put some lotion on the skin. You need a, a conductant so it just gets in there. All right. And you'll hear it. And I'm not going to talk too much while it's on. What's the key? The key is you want to get as many hits, literal hits, on that as possible uh, that's tolerable. This will be a little uh, painful. When I say painful, it should be about a 6 on the 0 to 10 scale. Also, um, we want to do it for about one minimum to 3,000 hits, okay? If we can get to that 2,000, that's great. Um, if it's too sore, guess what? It's a radial wave. We move away from it a little bit, and then we go over here. Oh wow, that doesn't feel so bad, Doc. Great, I'll stay there for maybe, you know, a thousand hits. But if I put my finger where the acute inflammation is, I can still feel that wave of motion coming in. So I'll do a couple of thousand hits in through here. We put a little bit of conduct it and there's some on the radial head still and then we can do the back drop but much thicker tissue i'm still going to keep the frequency at 20 hertz but now i'm going to bring it up to like 90 millijoules okay that's going to give me more authority on the deep pad so we'll hit the gastroc we'll probably do the soleus in through here and we'll work the plantar fascia and uh, again it'll be a little sore however the soreness may last one to three days. Uh, once the soreness goes away though, there'll be less irritation to the tissues. We can follow this with some gentle stretching and light exercises as long as there's no real pain. Oftentimes I'll still use my tape job that I show in the other video. Um, that's for acute pain control. We have other settings for healing and then we have other settings for breaking down those real deep knots. But when people come in and they can barely walk, we find this gets them, so to speak, over the hump. Um, but we don't do this every day. 
In fact, I may not do this for seven to 10 days. We just want to get things to calm down. More isn't always better. So that's how we use our radial uh, smart wave therapy system to treat plantar fasciitis in the acute inflammatory stage here in the office. Have a great day. I'm Dr. Donald Fabio.